Hi guys, it's Malia from Mac Fan Fun. I just wanted to tell you all hello today. Um, I am going to review my first selfie box. This is the first time I have ever gotten one of these. I'm pretty excited about my little subscription to this. Um, my good YouTube friend, um, Marion Rambod, she told me all about this and um, told me that it was worth my time to try these out. So shout out to her and I will leave her link um, at the bottom of my video when I'm done with this. Anyway, so um, to, for starters, I really love the way the box looks. <laughs> it's pink and matches my shirt. Yeah, I love pink. You guys know that? Anyway, so um, when I first got the box, I kind of thought, well, it's pretty similar to Ipsy, but then I really started looking at what was inside of it, and it's a little bit different from Ipsy, and I like both Ipsy and Selfie Box so far. Um, I like some things in this box more than others, so I will show you, um, what came in the box. It comes with a little card that explains everything. Um, this was the Happy New Year selfie box. And let's see. So it came with this Everani Softening Hydro Whip. That is valued at $55. So you're getting a good bargain. And this is really the price. What is, you know, what they say it is. Then you're getting a good value here. So anyway. Here's the Hydro Whip. It comes in this standard box. <laughs> Sorry, my card's doing weird stuff over here. Okay, anyway, let's see. So this is the lightest moisturizer that they've ever made is what it says. So we'll see. Actually, guys, I tried out everything in this box already. So I wouldn't, you know, have to use it as I was telling you. Anyway. So it comes in this green container. It's kind of hard to see on, on the video. And I kind of got it a little bit dirtier. Sorry. I had like fingerprints all over. Anyway, that's what, that's what it looks like. So it's in a nice pretty dark green container. And when I opened it, it had a seal obviously on it, but I took that off. Um, look how much you get though. You get a, a good amount. Um, and it says that you only should use a small pearl size amount to the face and the neck. So this is going to last you forever. <laughs> and I love when they give you this big of an amount. And it has, especially once you get it on your face, it has this really nice smell to it. I really like the smell of it. And um, I was trying to look and see if it had the ounces on it. It's probably on here somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, um, it's formulated with coconut and meadow foam and rose hip seed oils plus shea nut and lavender extract. Um, and like I said, it's lightweight, it locks in the moisture, and you just put it on your face after you wash your face. And, you know, before you go to bed or whatever. Anyway, I guess you could use it you know, before you do your daily routine as well. Anyway, I thought that this was really good. This was one of my favorite products in the box, and I would recommend this. So, that was the first thing. And then, there was this stuff called Earth Harbor Sunshine Dew. I was like, what is this? And so at first, when I first opened the box, I was like, oh, is that perfume? But no, it's not. It is not perfume. So it is an oil, so look at this. It comes in this bottle right here. I love that it's glass, of course I like that. Um, it is an antioxidant um, cleansing oil, and it's made with sea kelp and papaya. And this is two fluid ounces. This is a good amount too. You're not gonna put a whole bunch of this on at one time. So I was hoping that when I use this, that it would work as a makeup remover because it is oil. Um, and the dropper is really nice. And it has kind of just a normal, it doesn't have a strong scent or anything. But uh, it has a, it, it's clean filling. Anyway, 
And so you can just use a little bit of that on your face. So I used it to take my makeup off, which it says, gently shake, apply to a dry face, add lukewarm water and massage across your skin to dissolve oils and makeup. And that's what I did. And then some of these oils, you know, you can't really get them in your eyes or the burn or whatever. This did not do that. I would say this was probably like my second favorite uh, thing in the box. I don't know. Probably second or third. I thought this was really good. Um, it values, what did I say? I don't know if I told you, but it values at uh, $24. $24 for this. Um, it's made by Earth Harbor. And I took off my makeup really fast. Like, and, uh, you know, like my eye makeup and my foundation and everything. Anyway, this was a good product and I will be using this um, before I go to bed too. That was really good. And it made my face feel soft. Okay. Then our little card says that the next thing is Catherine Cosmetics All Over Bronzer. And it is worth $22. Okay, guys. I feel like, and this is just my opinion because I'm not always going to like everything that I show you. Not that I didn't like this, but I felt like maybe if it was worth the $22, and it goes for $22, that maybe perhaps you are paying for this cute little packaging too. This is called Berry Bronze, okay? And of course, it's cruelty free and gluten free and all that good stuff, okay? So this is what the box looks like. This box is pretty cool. I was like, this is really pretty. You know, it reminds me of a jewelry box or something. So I opened it up. Then inside it has this little card that says, Hey, Catherine girl, enjoy the natural little things in life that make you feel confident and pretty. Love, Catherine. <laughs> anyway, then you pop this out. It's like very fancy schmancy. And then here, on top of that, you get a little brush to apply it with. Yeah, and it's just like a cute little tiny brush with um, soft, obviously soft um, bristles or whatever. Anyway, so here's the bronzer though. This is why it was not exactly like my most favorite product ever. Um, if I can get it open. <laughs> okay, and it also had this little film thing on top of it. I just felt like this was very like fancy packaging. And it has a mirror. Okay. But there you'll see it's pretty red and it probably isn't even showing you on on here on the video just how red it was. It's pretty like almost a, like a burgundy red. So I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about how well that's going to go on my face. At first I was like, oh, it must be blush. And then I thought, no, it says it's bronzer. So anyway, I feel like I'm going on and on here, but here's the front. It's got, like, you can't even see that very good, but anyway, it's got, like, uh, a little K design. That's very hard for you to see. Anyway, it's a very fancy, but anyway, so it was kind of dark, I would say. I don't know what I do with my lid. There's so many pieces to this <laughs> compact. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, so I put it on. I put the bronzer on, and I was like, man, this is really kind of dark. So I really had to blend it in with like my other um, powder that that is a little bit more natural shade. So uh, yeah, you pretty much have to blend it with something else or you're going to have a red tone to your face. I, I feel like maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a big like um, makeup person. I don't do makeup tutorials and all that stuff. So maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Anybody got any tips? You can leave them in the comment section below. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm supposed to do with this Catherine bronzer here and its fancy little box. So yeah, okay, that was my least favorite product in the box. Okay, you know, I can't like them all. But, you know, I think it, I still feel like it, the bronzer would have been a, a better blush. So, hey, sometimes I do that. I use like other makeup products, you know, on my eyelids or on my cheeks. I don't know. I just do what I want to do, okay? 
Okay. Uh, next thing we had, I really like, and I was thinking, I don't even like this. When I first opened, I was like, this is going to be my least favorite product. And guess what, guys? It turned out to be one of my favorites. Okay. I guess that's wild. All of these beauty products in these boxes have such weird titles and names and you're like, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But anyway, this is the Konjac Facial Cleansing Sponge. And it is infused with French pink clay. Okay? So when you open this, you're like, man, this thing's as hard as a rock. So look at this. You're like, who would like that? And so here's what it looks like. It looks like almost like a rock. You're like, what? What is this? So anyway, and it's got this little string on it. And I was like, eh, I don't know. And so then you read on the instructions. And it's like, we know it looks hard as a rock. <laughs> it's not exactly what they say. But they're like, once you add water, this thing is wonderful. And they're right. So I put it in some water. And then it starts like softening up and being much, much better. And so this is to exfoliate like the dry skin off of your face. And then I don't know. I feel like it almost has some kind of scent to it. I don't, I mean, it says it's infused with the pink clay or whatever. I'm not sure, you know, what that is exactly. But I really like this. And then I use this and the oil and everything. Got all my makeup off and it really takes it off. And then when you're done, you just run it back under the water, squeeze it. I mean, it's a little soft here because I did already use it once. But uh, you can reuse this. You can reuse this for, I think it's set up to four to six weeks or something like that. Uh, and then you just hang it on its little hanger. And let it air dry overnight or whatever. And, uh, wow, I mean, it feels so weird. This is like such a weird, weird texture on your face, but like the best thing. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I would buy another one of these. I hope I, I am planning on getting more of these selfie boxes. So I hope I get some more of these because I like this. This was nice. Okay. So, yeah, that was one of my top favorite things in the box. Okay. Oh, yeah. I said that I said the bronzer was my least favorite. I don't know. It was a debate between the bronzer and this last product that I'm going to show you. This was the Bella Pierre Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Um, by the way, guys, I don't know. I keep forgetting what I told you already, but that sponge was worth $17. And this uh, eyeliner that came in the box is uh, worth $16. It's creamy, waterproof eyeliner. I love waterproof because I like to go swimming, and I still like to wear my eyeliner when I go swimming. I don't know why, but I just do it. Okay, guys, I'm wearing this now. I don't know if you can see, and you might think that the eyeliner looks dark enough on me, but I really like my eyeliner to be very dark, so I felt like this was kind of on the light side, and I felt like I had to really try hard to get it to show up on my eye, on my eyelids, and I would not buy this again, just so you know. I would not buy this. I would not recommend this product to my friends. But, you know, to each his own. So maybe somebody else might like this. I don't know. Well, anyway, so this is what it looks like. When you open it, it has like, it's almost where you already have to sharpen it. So I had to sharpen this with a regular, you know, makeup eye pencil sharpener. But when I first looked at it, I mean, I was like trying to twist the bottom. It didn't even look like you could sharpen it with a sharpener. It's a very odd texture. It feels plasticky, but it's not. Um, <laughs> just in case you're wondering, because at first I was like, what? Um, anyway, uh, it wasn't my favorite. It's too light. It doesn't go on very good. You have to really try to get it to show up. So, uh, again, another product that I didn't care much for. So, that was the last product in the box. But, guys, I actually really enjoyed this box. I know it doesn't sound like I did, but I really did. And I just love that sponge and the oil and the moisturizer. So, you know, those were so good that I would definitely do this again. So, I'm very excited to be part of the selfie box 
uh, group now. And I'm really glad that Marion recommended it to me because it's a kind of, um, you know, a little bit, I have to say, it's a little bit nicer than the Ipsy. It doesn't come with a little box, or I mean bag, um, you know, like Ipsy, but the sample sizes were definitely better in Sophie Box. You know, uh, I think you do pay a little bit more for Sophie Box, I think. I don't know. You know, my husband, he's nice enough to renew these for me, and then I never know how much it was. <laughs> Uh, you know, he always is like, oh, I bought you this subscription for Valentine's Day or your birthday or whatever. So then I don't even bother to ask for the price. But I think this one is a little bit more. So anyway, I'm looking forward to getting another selfie box. Oh, and my daughter wanted me to give her a little shout out. So hi, Abigail. Mom loves you so very, very much. And I just want to shout out again to Marion Rambot. <laughs> anyway, thanks Marion for everything. And I will see you guys later. I appreciate you watching my video. Leave a thumbs up or a comment and I will talk to you later.